win it! Wow! Oh man, it being just posterized, Russell Westbrook! You love the Philadelphia Eagles! Let me get a hell yeah! Hey, what's up, guys? It is Dives, Mr. Crockpot on Twitter. Welcome to Party on Broad. Just me. It is currently 8 a.m. on Thursday. Happy freaking trade day, everybody. Um, I just want to quickly talk about Alex Burks and Glenn Robinson III. Uh, the Sixers made a trade sometime around 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Um, on Thursday morning. Uh, Derek Bodner of The Athletic reports that the trade capital heading to the Golden State Warriors includes Dallas's uh, 2020 second rounder, Denver's 2021 second rounder, and Toronto's 2022 second rounder. Uh, if I had to grade this trade, I'd give it a solid A-. Uh, the fact that the Sixers got some real role players this season is a major win. Um, it gives the Sixers some much needed shooting and scoring off the bench. Uh, maybe you might see Alec Burke starting a couple games, who knows? Uh, but these are two guys that really fit the Sixers needs. Um, and they really didn't lose any draft value at all. Um, they didn't lose the Hawks pick and they didn't lose the, Nick, the Knicks pick. So that's a major win uh, for all the slack that Elton Brand has received, uh, especially this week, man. Major win for Elton Brand. Another take of this trade has to be uh, the fact that the Sixers moved one of the fake first round picks from Dallas that was used in the Nerland's Noel trade. Hilarious. The ghost of Brian Colangelo still exists. The worst part about this trade is, and it's a minor complaint, is that both players are rentals. Burks and Robinson will be unrestricted free agents after this season. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Alec Burks. Uh, Burks. He's a six foot six shooting guard, combo guard. He's averaging um, a career high 16.1 points per game for the Warriors. It's his eighth season as a pro. I think he's around like 28 years old. Um, he adds uh, 4.7 boards, 3.1 assists. He is shooting 37.5% from three. That is key. Uh, but most importantly, Burks becomes immediately one of the best shooters on the Sixers off the dribble. Um, he's shooting 40.2% there off the dribble this season. Um, he is scoring 1.18 points per possession on handoff opportunities, which is the sixth best in the NBA. Um, these are stats from my man Brock. Uh, follow him on Twitter, at Landis Brock. Uh, he owns a 5.9 turnover frequency, which is good for eighth best. Um, so Burks is a, a real role player here that's going to really help the Sixers, especially in the pick and roll. Um, and that's, that's really it, um, because the Sixers don't have that. Whether it's stopping it or running the pick and roll, um, let's get into it. Um, um, Alec Burks is shooting 38.3 in the catch and shoot and in wide open threes this season. Um, he's about average on defense, um, but he's not a liability. Another worst thing about this trade, uh, when I think about it, is Shake Milton. I think Shake Milton is probably the odd man out here. Uh, I really enjoyed watching Shake play this year. I think he's really capitalized on every single opportunity. Uh, he had an injury earlier on this season, um, but I do think he's heading back to Delaware. His minutes are going to be very few uh, for Shake Milton, but really proud of my guy. Shake played very well this year. Ironically, Alec Burks is averaging the same amount of points as Ben Simmons, and I expect to see Burks and Ben Simmons to run the pick and roll together at some point this season. Uh, with Ben as the role man, 43.2% uh, of Burks' uh, offense came in the pick and roll with Golden State. Um, another thing, I'm done with Raul Nato, and I think Brett clearly won't play Trey Burke, so that that you know wish is not happening. I really want to see what Alec Burks looks like in the backup point guard role. I'm just talking about probably five minutes off the bench, um, but with his shooting, with his, with his he's got a pretty solid handle. I think there is a possibility there. Everything about the Alec Burks trade really boils down to the Ben Simmons and Alec Burks pick and roll. Um, that's the real story here. Uh, we've seen Brett Brown do it more and more with Ben Simmons this season. Um, and I, I'm really excited to see how that works out. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Glenn Robinson. Uh, Glenn Robinson, who spent 10 games with the Sixers as a rookie in 2015. Yes, the process. Glenn Robinson is back. Uh, Glenn Robinson is averaging also career highs and scoring 12.9 points, uh, 4.7 boards, and 1.8 assists per game. Um, you know, he. this is a guy that is playing a lot of minutes for the Golden State Warriors, a terrible team, and just putting up stats. So obviously that's not going to translate to the Sixers. Uh, he's six foot six. Um, he's in his sixth season. He is shooting 40% from three. Um, really 
Glenn Robinson's coming in to shoot and defend. That, that's going to be his job. He's been solid in the catch and shoot from three this year at 40.5%, and he makes 43.8% of his wide open threes. So uh, when you look at Alec Burks and you look at Glenn Robinson, these are two guys that really do fit the Sixers, especially alongside Ben Simmons. Um, so moving forward, we're going to have to see the Sixers wave two players. So as of right now, it is nearly 8.30 on Thursday. Um, who's gone? Is it Jonah Bolden? Is it James Ennis? Is it Kylo Quinn? Raul Nato? Trey Burke? If I had to put my money on it, it's most likely Trey Burke. Um, I'm hoping Kylo Quinn gets the axe and maybe they could you know, bring up, back up um, Norvell Powell at some point because I'm a big Norvell Powell fan. What does it mean for the lineup? I think you're going to see Ben at point guard. I think you're going to see Jay Rich at shooting guard, Matisse at, at the wing, and then Tobias and Embiid. I think uh, this move solidifies Al Horford coming off the bench. Uh, Alec Burks and Al Horford off the bench as the, as the main two is pretty intriguing. There's a lot more versatility in the lineup. Um, I don't know what this means for James Ennis. I'm kind of done with James Ennis. He's way too inconsistent for me. I'm done with Raul Nato. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to get more into this later on the day. I just want to do a quick reaction of my thoughts of this trade. A, a, a trade. Um, very, very good move for Elton Brand and the Sixers. Does this mean they're going to the finals? No. Um, what it does is give more balance to the roster and hopefully more shooting. Um, I'm Chris, Mr. Crockpot on Twitter. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome. Westbrook. You love the Philadelphia!